A great book can serve many purposes. It can be used for education, comfort, and at times, inspiration. If your books can do all that and more, then you know you have something special. Jennifer Cook, formerly O'Toole, was born in Glenridge, New Jersey on October 24, 1975. This was a time in our history when the world knew very little about autism. With that said, you might expect Jennifer to have had a rough childhood, and while she had some struggles here and there, that was hardly the full picture for her. At the age of seven, Jennifer became a member of Mensa International, a high IQ society group designed for those with above average intellect. These members get access to a worldwide network to meet like-minded people, earn scholarships that are only available to those in Mensa, along with other special benefits. While in high school, Jennifer was cast as the lead in high school musicals and earned her way to an all-state tennis player twice. From 1993 to 1997, Jennifer attended Brown University, earning her Bachelor of Arts degree in American Civilization, with honors, of course. Around that time, she became a part of Kappa Alpha Theta, a college sorority. Alongside this, she also managed to make time to join groups, such as a football cheerleader and a member of the university's dance company. With such a bright and colorful background, her next move might seem unusual at first glance. Between 1997 and 1999, Jennifer served as a domestic violence counselor at the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department in Charlotte, North Carolina, where she trained officers, led student-focused presentations in colleges and high schools, and served as a victim advocate. She chose this job due to personal experience. Before she got this job, Jennifer was a victim of sexual violence in an intimate relationship. We're not going to go into details about this point in her life. Suffice to say, she was able to get out of it with the help of friends and family. Her experience from this ordeal gave her words the credibility to help other victims who had been in a similar situation. When Jennifer finished working there, she went back to college life and started a pursuit of a master's degree in social work at Columbia University in New York City. Later, she returned to North Carolina and enrolled in the Graduate School of Education at Queens University. Simultaneously, Jennifer also taught in both middle and high school levels. She even earned a nomination from students for the Disney's American Teacher of the Year Award thanks to her excellent work. So when did Jennifer's autism come into the picture? It's actually a funny story. After she married her first husband, Jennifer had three children, a daughter in 2003, a son in 2006, and another son in 2009. Two years after the third child was born, Jennifer got curious and took the family to see some medical experts. The interesting part is that in 2011, Jennifer got the results that not only is she autistic, but her three children and first husband also have autism. What are the odds of that happening? This diagnosis helped Jennifer greatly with her own self-esteem as she could finally begin to make sense of the world around her and realize that just because she is not equipped with the same neurology as other neurotypicals, it didn't mean that she isn't trying hard enough or that she is a failure. She also realized that with her special gifts, not only could she help her children, but other families in need as well. The only question was, how? May 15th, 2012, Jennifer Cook published the first of what would be a series of books known as Asper Kids. The first one titled, Asper Kids. An Insider's Guide to Loving, Understanding, and Teaching Children with Asperger's Syndrome. Initially, the target audiences for this book were the families of autistic children, the doubters, and those who were desperate to understand what autism is and what it means for their children. On the first day her book was out, it became an immediate success, even going as far as earning the Temple Grandin Award for Outstanding Global Contribution. 
and inspired Dr. Grandin herself to write an article about Jennifer's book. As time progressed, more and more readers were drawn to the first Asper Kids book from the United States, England, you name it. Writing on the success, Jennifer went on to publish several more books in the following years, such as the Asper Kids Secret Book of Social Rules, a handbook of not-so-obvious guidelines for teens and tweens, Sisterhood of the Spectrum, an Asperger Chick's Guide to Life, Autism in Heels, the untold story of a female life on the spectrum, in addition to a few others. All of them earned worldwide recognition got translated in six different languages, and earned an abundance of awards. Jennifer Cook's tale of hard work and determination serves as a shining beacon for families of autistic children and autistic women alike. Even to this day, she continues to spread her message to people around the world that it's okay to be true to yourself, to be different than everyone else. After all, it is only by staying honest with who we are pushing to be the best that we can be, and being compassionate to our communities that we can reach our full potential. Quite a compelling story, and something tells me this book is far from done.